Okay guys, first uh, exercise we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing dumbbell chest press. I'm going pretty heavy with these and I'm going nice and slow. So get ready to rock. You can do them on the bench, you can do them on the floor, whatever you got at your disposal. Down in position and we're going three, two, one and go. So again, nice and slow as we extend the muscle, as slow as we're contracting the muscle with a nice, nice metric hold in the top for a couple of seconds. And thinking about the muscle group we're trying to hit rather than just rushing through it and going through the motions. Up. Okay, up next we're going to do chest flies. I'm going to go with a moderately heavy dumbbell for this. Get on the bench, but you can do it on the floor. We do start with the dumbbells touching, we lower them down. Not too much of a bend in the elbow and squeeze them up the meat in the middle, squeeze them back together. Let's go. Focus on the breathing also. Breathe in and breathe out as you bring them in the meat. Again, guys, most stress. We're not looking for maximum amount of reps in the time. We're looking to go really slow in the tempo, focus on the form, and really think about the muscle group we're working. And stop. Okay, up next we're going to stick with the moderately heavy dumbbells and we're going to do crossover. So stand up tall, engage in the core, dumbbells like so, and we're going to just squeeze the pack as you raise the arm diagonally to the side. Okay, three, two, one, go. Very easy to cheat on this one and just go through the motions, but no swinging, just contract the pack. Squeeze and you're uh, raising the dumbbell. Get the arms relatively straight, like right much behind the elbow. Dumbbells for what we're going to do push up using the bench, but you can do it on the floor, you can do it using your couch at home. You can get the hands on the bench, on the tiptoes, buttocks clenched, abs drawn in. Three, two, one, and go. Keep that head in line with the spine. Fly, so I'm going to grab light dumbbells for this. Stand tall, nails facing forward. And squeeze those packs together as you raise up the arms again. Not too much of a bend the elbow. And we're going in three, two, one. Go. Let's keep that core engaged so there's no swinging.
pushed up. Up next, we're going to do a pinch press. So we're going to take the heavier dumbbell. Now with this one, the grip is important. We get the hands like so, pinching together with the palms. With the thumb over the handle, not tucked underneath. Let's start in the sternum. And three, two, one. Breathe out as we press up. Breathe in as we go right back. Squeezing together with the palms without the thumbs underneath. Constantly contracting those pecs as you raise it up and get a tighter squeeze at the top. And stop. Up next, we're going to do a reverse grip chest fly. So we'll take the light dumbbells for this. We got the ends of the dumbbells facing each other, nails facing the other direction. Pull them down nice and slow. Breathe out as you bring it to the middle. Let's go. Up. Okay, up next, we're going to be same position, same grip, but we're going to do, and we're going to use the moderately heavy dumbbells for this, we're going to do reverse grip press. So, start here, and we squeeze them up to meet, just like so. Let's go. Just the nails facing away from us. The dumbbells come out, up to meet the bottom of the dumbbells. Up. up next, we've got pinch raise. So we get the palms together again, same as the pinch press from over the handle, like so. I stand tall, I just raise them up in front, no swinging. Watch at the back. Let's go. Up. And finally, exercise number 10, we're going to do a press fly. So, take the heavy dumbbells for this. We're in the chest press position. We bring them up, but we rotate them in. The fly position to finish. Three, two, one.
hard stop. Okay guys, first exercise you're going to do is a horizontal pull. Now, if you're doing this in the gym, feel free to use a lat pull then instead, but we're going to be using dumbbells here. And it is a tricky maneuver, so I'm going to be using the lighter ones for this. So we're going to get down on our tummies, take the dumbbells in hand, stretch them out front. From here, you're going to squeeze back and bring them forward. Three, two, one, and go. Next, we've got single arm row. So, we're going to use a bench press. If you don't have a bench, you can do it from standing. So, just like this. Okay, I'm going to use a heavy dumbbell for this. I'm going to start on the right arm. So, left knee on the bench, left hand on the bench. And three, two, one, and go. Breathe out as you pull it in towards you. Hold for a second or two. Then, lower it down nice and slow. Don't let the arm lock out. Keep your core strong. And don't. Totally relax the arm and go limp here, okay? Keep, keep some tension on all sides. So you don't lose your posture. And stop. Swap on to the other side. Move on the left arm this time. So right knee on the bench, right hand on the bench. Dumbbell on the left arm, core strong. Slight bend the elbow. In three, two, one, and go. Breathe out, just pull it towards you. Breathe in. As you extend the arm. Again, just don't lock out the arm, just keep a slight bend the elbow so you don't lose posture. An upright pull, so we're going to take one dumbbell, grip it by the head, and we're going to pull it up towards the chin, keep the elbows nice and high. Keep the core strong, and three, two, one, let's go. Breathe out, just pull the dumbbell up towards you. Breathe down as you lower back. Moderately heavy dumbbells. From here, knees underneath hips, hip width apart, hands underneath shoulders. We're going to raise this up to a right angle. Then go to the other side. Three, two, one, and go. So try not to tuck your elbow in on this one. Try and keep the elbow in line with the shoulder. And you're not bringing the dumbbell up towards your shoulder, you're bringing it up to a right angle between the bicep and forearm.
and stop. Up next we've got a raise and pull. Now this one's quite tricky, so I'm using the light ones for it. So we're tilting forward from the hips, soft knees, raise up to here and squeeze into the lad. Pull down in three, two, one, and go. Let's put that back nice and flat. Keep the core strong. Breathe out as you squeeze down. Up. up next we're going to do a dumbbell pullover, so I'm going to grab a dumbbell, the heavy one, I'm going to get my shoulders on the back of the bench, if you don't have a bench guys just do this from the floor, take the dumbbell like so, and we're going to raise it down like so and up in front of us, let's go. And that bridge nice and strong through it. Breathe it out as you bring it forward. Breathe it in as you lower back. Up. up next we're going to reverse grip row, so we're going to take the moderately heavy dumbbells for this, tilt from the hips, heels facing away from us, and draw it in towards us. So, three, two, one, and go. Breathe out, just pull it in towards you. Once again, don't fully lock out the arms. Up next we're going to do reverse snow angels, we don't need any equipment for this one. That's my line in front, set your arms out like so, and we're going to breathe out as we move ourselves up, keeping your arms nice and straight, and let's go. Next, we're going to do uh, a landmine. We're going to use a heavy dumbbell for this. Grip it with both hands, tilt from the hips, and pull it in towards your chest. Three, two, one, and go. to 
Okay guys, we're gonna start with a seated shoulder dumbbell press, okay? But if you don't have a bench, you use a chair, or you can do it from sitting down with your legs out straight, or you can do it from standing. So bench is optional. Okay, I'm gonna use the heavies for this. And we're gonna go really slow and controlled. Sit down, bring the dumbbells up. We press them above our head in three, two, one, and go. Breathing out as you press up, breathing in on the way back down. Slow and controlled. Give the muscles as much time under tension with every rep as we can. Okay, up next we got a hanging side lower raise. I'm just going to use a light dumbbell for this one. Okay, so grab it on like so. Feet together, lean into the side. Dumbbell six inches away from the hip. We raise up and line with the air and back down. Three, two, one, and go. Up, shake it out, and we go on to the other side. Feet together, lean out to the side, dumbbell six inches away from the hip, and we're raising in three, two, one, and go. Slow and controlled, the name of the game. Up, laugh like a bird. And step. Up next, we're going to grab the moderately heavy dumbbell. We're going to be here. Take the dumbbell like so. We rotate it around the back of our head and around the front again. One, three, two, one, and go. Up, good job. Up next, we're going to do a Cuban press, so we're going to do this from standing, and I'm going to use the moderately heavy dumbbells for this one. What we do is take the dumbbells, we do an upright pull, keeping the dumbbells nice and close to our body, and up and do a press and repeat. Three, two, one, and go. Keep the core strong so we're not arching the back.
against them. Up next, we're going to do a front raise, alternate front raise, and I'm going to use the lighter dumbbells for this. So we start here, core strong, raise up, align with the eyes, back down, and on the other side. Three, two, one, and go. So again, this is lighter dumbbells, but the heavier you go, the more tempting it is swing so just keep that in mind it's not a kettlebell swing we're doing we're not using the hips to drive it up we're keeping our core nice and strong Up. up next we're going to do shrugs, so we're going to grab the heavier ones for this. Traps, and take these, like so, and roll the shoulders up towards the ears. And back to that. Three, two, one, and go. Up. up next we're going to do a kneeling single arm press and we'll use a moderately heavy one for this. So right knee down, dumbbell in right hand, head of the dumbbell facing you and we press up. Three, two, one, go. Once again, core strong, no arch in the back. for this. Start at the right angle in the hammer curl position and get the thumbs over the handles. Start here. Raise the elbows up. Keep the right angle between the bicep and the forearm. Three, two, one. And go.
Okay guys, first exercise we're going to do is alternate curls. I'm going to be seated for these, alright, but you can do it from standing. Starting in this position, we curl up, don't bring it right up to your shoulder. Or take the dumbbell as you do, and away we go. So keep those elbows in nice and tight, into the ribs, keep the shoulders pinned back. Breathing out as you curl, breathing in as you lower it back down. Again, keep in good form here, trying not to swing. Like I said, the bicep is a small enough muscle grip, and it doesn't get any backup from any other muscle groups, so what your body's going to want to do here is try and cheat a little bit and swing these bad boys up. So go as light as you need to to keep strict form throughout. And stop. Okay. Up next, stay in the same position, the same dumbbells. We're going to do double arm hammer curls. So we just keep the heads of dumbbells facing forward, curl them up towards the shoulders, but not right up to the shoulders. And we're going nice and slow. And we're going three, two, one, go. Again, you can do this from standing, guys, if you don't have a bench or you can use the edge of your couch or a chair. I keep the knees in nice and tight so they don't get in the way of the dumbbells. A single arm concentration curl. So, if you're standing or using the seat, you're going to get the elbow into the inside of the knee and you're going to curl it up towards your face. And we're going in three, two, one, and go. And just fully extend that arm. When you're lowering it down, keep it controlled, don't let the dumbbell. Pull your, your arm down. You want to be in control at all times. Right. right arm gets a rest where the left one works. Up next. So same idea, get the elbow from the inside of the knee. Arm straighten, cut it up towards your face. And three, two, yeah. Next, we're going to take one heavy dumbbell. Pinch curl, so you squeeze the dumbbell with your palms on each side and curl it up towards you, nice and slow. One, three, two, one, go. Okay, up next we're going to do a reverse grip curl. Now I'm going to use the lighter ones for these because it is 
kind of awkward to do with good form with a heavier dumbbell. So you grip yeah, around the dumbbell with your thumb over the top of the handle, not underneath it. And we curl up like so. Three, two, one, and go. Up. up next we're going to do a wide grip curl and either go moderate or light and let's go moderate oh so from here we turn the nails out towards the side and we curl them up like so three two one and go keep the core strong Up. Okay, dropping down the lighter ones from the next one. We're going to be doing bent over curl. So we tuck from the hip, shoulder, the elbows, stay nice and still. Curl up through the temples. No swinging on the elbows. Three, two, one. Up. Okay, up next, we're going to do a hammer curl with a twist at the top. Okay, moderately heavy from these ones. So from here, we curl up, rotate round, and back. Three, two, one. Up. And finally, we're going to finish with double arm bicep curl again. We'll use the moderately heavy ones. And we're just going to do standard bicep curls, double arms. Going.
Okay guys, first exercise we're going to do is a tricep dip. So you can use the edge of a couch, you can use a bench, or you can use a chair. And I'm going to take a heavy dumbbell and pop it on my lap while we're doing it. Okay, so get in position, ready to go. Dumbbell in place, and shoulder width apart. Out to here, three, two, one, and good. Again, we're going for slow, controlled, working on the tempo, rather than trying to rush these. Let the muscles spend time under tension. Let it burn. You're gonna get a hell of a pump in the triceps at the end of this work. It's nice and slow on the way down, keeping that back nice and close to the bench, or the couch, or the chair. So we're not lifting those hips up towards the ceiling. Then the way down, and cleaned out, all the way up. Stop, okay, up next, we got a single arm tricep kickback. I'm gonna use moderately heavy dumbbells for these. You gotta get the right knee and right hand on the bench or the couch. Up to a right angle here. Fully extend and back to your right angle. Three, two, one, and go. Try and hold it for a second or two. When you come into full contraction, and bring it down. Don't let it swing, don't let it come up to your shoulder. We start at a right angle. Every time, not using any momentum. Get that dumbbell lifted. Just can't breathe in here. Breathe out as you contract the muscle. And stop. Okay, now we're going to go on to the other side. See it again, only this time. Left hand down, right knee down, back nice and flat. Dumbbell in hand, lift the elbow up and line the back, right angle between bicep and forearm, three, two, one, and Very easy to cheat in this exercise and bring the dumbbell up to your shoulder. And swing that dumbbell up, but we're trying to avoid that. Nice and slow on the way down, nice and slow on the way up. Put the second or two hold, muscles contracted. Okay, up next we're going to use the bench and do a push grip push up. Okay, or you can do it on your couch or do it on the floor. And shoulder width apart, elbows tucked in tight in the high plank position. And from here we lower ourselves down and press up all the triceps. Let's go. Breathe out as you're pressing up. Breathe in the way back down. Yeah, we're going slow and controlled, focusing on the tempo. Up next, we're going to take a single dumbbell and we're going to use a moderately heavy weight for this one. Bring in the right hand, we get the crease of the elbow with the left hand, we lower the dumbbell down towards the left shoulder and fully extend back. Let's go. This one starts nice and easy. After a few reps, we start to feel that burn. Just keep the right arm in position with the left hand. Stop the elbow from swinging back and forth.
first up. Back shaker, then we go on to the other side. Same idea. Dumbbell on the left hand this time. Right hand in the crease of the elbow. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up. Shake it out. Up next, we're going to do skull crushers. We're going to take the moderately heavy dumbbells, but we're going to take dumbbells up like so. Give that chest press, lower them down past the temples, press them up like so. So nails facing away from us. Up. Next, we're going to do a single arm overhead tricep press. Sorry, single dumbbell overhead tricep press. So, we need a heavy one for this. We take a diamond grip, so just in the web of the hands. Bring it behind the head. We stand up in three, two, one. Let's go. Bend those elbows Get as far down the back as you can with that dumbbell. Tight, like so, nails facing behind us, and we press up to meet in the middle. Very nice and slow. Keep those elbows tucked in by the ribs. Finally, we got a reverse grip, double arm tricep kickback. So we tilt from the hips and the elbows up high, nails facing away from us. So it's time to go the right one for these. Three, two, one, and go. Once again, right angle between bicep and forearm. Swing them back nice and flat and really soft. Yeah, this thing's a workout, these nice ones. Put it down heavy.
Right guys, first exercise we're gonna do is a plank. We're gonna hold it for 40 seconds, so no dumbbells needed for this. We're gonna do a low plank from the forearm, so hands shoulder width apart, make sure those hands aren't touching together. Elbows underneath shoulders, up on your tiptoes, buttocks clenched, abs drawn in. Three, two, one, and go. Keep the buttocks squeezed, keep the head and line with the spine. Line with the hips and line with the heels. Hold it there. Abs drawn in, no arch in the lower back. Start with a static hold just to get the uh, hands and gaze core strengthened to begin with. We'll work on it from there. And we're keeping his hands shoulder width apart. If you start to edge the hands inwards, you'll start to take the tension with the traps rather than the core. Okay, up next we're going to grab just one of the heavy dumbbells and we're going to do a press crunch. So from here. We hold it just in the chest, either end, and we crunch up as we bring the dumbbell just up towards the knees. In three, two, one, and go. Breathe out as you crunch it up. Breathe in on the way back there. Okay, up next we're going to take one of the lighter dumbbells, we're going to pop it between the feet and we're going to do some leg lifts at the lower abs. Put the hands underneath the back side, dumbbell between the feet, raise them up and then lower them back down one inch off the floor. And three, two, one, and go. Breathe out as you're raising your legs, breathe in as you're lowering them back down. Up. up next, we're going to take a moderately heavy dumbbell. Do some side oblique dips. So, dumbbell on the right hand, fingertips inside of the left side of the head, and we're going to breathe out as we dip down nice and low. Breathe in as we come back up. Three, two, one, go. Up. We're going to do the other side. Fingertips on the side of the head on the right. Dumbbell on the left hand. Dipping down to the side. In three, two, one, and go. Up. Okay, up next, no dumbbells needed. 
We're going to do a sprinter crunch. So we're going to flatten our back with the arms hovering over the chest. We're going to crunch right the way up, bringing the right forearm to the left knee. Come down and go to the other side. And three, two, one, go. Up. I'm next going to grab one of the lighter dumbbells and we're going to do a rotary twist. So just lean back, heels on the ground, toes point upwards, and we twist around to the side, keeping your arm nice and straight. Going three, two, one. Up. up next, we're going to be bringing the right arm up above the head, left arm down by the side. We're going to crunch up towards the opposite leg and back down without the dumbbell touching the floor. Let's go. Up. Now we're going to do the other side. So, one on last time. We go off the floor, right arm down by the side. We punch up, bring the left and the right leg up to make the left hand. There we go. Don't let the foot or the hand hit the floor. Stop. Uh, finally, we're going to finish off with our old tried and tested favorite, the bicycle crunch. No. Flat back, no dumbbells needed, fingertips inside the head. Legs up to a right angle, we crunch up, bringing the right elbow to the left knee, extend the right legs, and holding it side. And away we go.
If you enjoyed what you saw here today, guys, give us a like, leave us a comment below, let us know what you think. Also, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a Zeus Fitness workout again. And if you really like what you saw here today, why not click the link below and start your 14 day free trial in our premium service, Zeus Plus. On here, you're gonna get our best premium products out there, hundreds of workouts, Zoom calls, nutrition plans, and you get to pick my brain anytime you want. And that, my friends, is not a promise, that's a spoiler. <laughs>